area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But they tell you be safe when you out in these streets Rest in peace, King Nip, stay dangerous Good motherfuckers play for keys Keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Better keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Mink, catch her in the mall while she panty shopping in this Dragon Ball Z Kid Ghoul get bodied in pink Shut the fuck up, I'm trying to speak. Me and Lil Bro with slime. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and blend, follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Salute to everyone who has followed me on the gram. You know what I'm saying? I get a lot of messages daily. I try to respond to a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? People want to talk about promotion, getting their songs played, and things like that. Hit me on the gram, I will get back to you as soon as possible. So I want to talk to y'all about a super fight one last time. And I seen, you know, different battle rappers and fans and people talking about, you know, the event wasn't good, it was a bad event, it flopped, whoop de woo shit wasn't popping like that, no sizzle to the sprinkle. But I do want to take some positives from what we got. See, you can't just get all bad without the good, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just say this was not good this was not good and just trash it because first of all we're not paying for events no more you know caffeine is providing the entertainment and the shit for free so we're really not paying we're just watching and things like that and i think that we shouldn't sometimes our expectations are way 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 high and then when something is not at the level of expectation that you me or someone may want we feel like it's automatically a failure and conversely that's not always the case sometimes we can have something happen and it just doesn't be as what you expected it to be but there were still a lot of positives for instance i really feel like chess versus kid chaos saved the whole event to me personally there were some other good performances sprinkled here and there you know what i'm saying other battle etc etc but chess versus kid chaos to me was the epitome of a young hungry cat with kid chaos trying to get the respect that he feels he deserves you know he's got a lot of performance he's he's got these long setups sometimes and i feel like his what he's doing is he's trending in the right direction like i said a lot in the recaps and in the other joints you know what i'm saying i feel like he does his thing uh and this to me was kind of like a turning point for him to kind of start heading getting him the bigger names and then before he ended his round he called out chilla jones that's a battle that could potentially happen you know what i'm saying that would be dope uh real sick he did his thing two one or three old arsenal you know so the new guys are continuing to develop and grow but this blog is really about chess. We give chess a hard time when he doesn't do good. When chess stumbles, when chess fumbles, when chess chokes in battles, or when chess wasn't taking shit probably as seriously as he could, or when he was going through things in life, everybody, including myself, was like, yo, what are we doing here? I remember when chess battled Gichi Gotti, or when he got the battle versus Gichi Gotti, everybody was like, hell no. What is this? Why is this happening? URL's going in the wrong direction. But when chess starts doing like what he did yesterday, the, the day before, you gotta show him props. Like, come on, son. He had the battle versus K-Shine. I know it wasn't his greatest performance, but he showed up versus Loso, did his motherfucking thing. He had the two-on-two -two before that, did his motherfucking thing. And now he shows up versus Kid Chaos, and he does his motherfucking thing. He's proven to us, right in front of us, that he's starting to grow, you know what I'm saying? And if he continues to do this, he should continue to be put in front of talent, in front of names, and hopefully Chess can be what everyone thought he was going to be see the thing is a lot of people myself included i don't hate chess i tell you all the time i'm from the bronx 233rd white plains road uptown i know where Cortland ave is at i know exactly where chess is from i know what the struggle is like i know what it's like to be from them environments and have to go through some of the things that he went through to get where he's at 
But at the same time, the cats that be from where I'm from, I be wanting them to do good. And I be like, yo, he got to really, like, he got to really park people. He can't be out here playing. So I got a lot of love, a lot of admiration for Chess. So, yeah, I may be critical in some of my, you know, evaluation of the battles or the talent. But it's just because I know how talented Titty is. He had a bar in his battle that people actually, like, they thought I didn't get. I explained it in my live stream yesterday, but we're going to do it again today here. You know what I'm saying? Like, he said, and I quote, what do he say? What do he say? Mink, catch her in the mall while she panty shopping in his Dragon Ball Z. Kid Ghoul get bodied in pink. Now, he used such a crazy double entendre with that. Catch his girl while she in the mall panty shopping. Kid Boo get bodied in pink. Victoria's Secret has a line called pink. Kid Boo is pink from Dragon Ball Z. Saying Kid Boo get bodied in pink is basically saying Kid Chaos's boo gets bodied in the pink section of Victoria's Secret. But it's a double entendre saying Kid Boo is in the Dragon Ball Z character. I don't know how y'all missed this. I get it. But y'all trying to say that I didn't know Dragon Ball Z just because I didn't explain the Dragon Ball Z part did not mean you see my bro y'all need think about it y'all niggas was not thinking about it and I get it there's some who did there's some who didn't but that level of writing from Chess is phenomenal I figured that the Kid Boo part from Dragon Ball Z was surface level we all should know that. And I'm not even a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, but I know about Dragon Ball Z, Vegeta, Trunks, Kid Buu. I know about it. I'm not, I don't have to be a huge fan to know about what's surface level. But see, y'all niggas don't be getting y'all girl nothing. Y'all niggas need to go to Victoria's Secret, get your girl some pink, then Kid Buu get bodied in pink. Salute to the women that watch this channel too. They'll jump in the comments and let you know, since y'all niggas don't know. I, I, it's like that. But... I honestly feel like Chess Performance versus Kid Chaos saved this event. Because there were veterans on the card who did not do that good. You know what I'm saying? Like, was not super crazy like that. And Chess showed up. Because Chess is, even though he's a younger MC, he's starting to become a veteran. Chess been around for some years now. Easily over five or six years, he's starting to become a veteran. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, whether he becomes legendary, that's on him. His career is not, it's not even halfway done. You know what I'm saying? Like, he probably has mad more battles. He has mad more big stage looks. He has mad performances that he can put on. So, whether he becomes legendary is on his own. But in the Bronx and in the hood and lives like that, he's already legendary for what he's done. But he, what he's going to continue to do. Now, I say this. Overall, I did say the event was like a six and a half or a seven, and that's mainly because the main event. Like when you, I rewatched Chess vs. Kid Chaos, right? I rewatched it, and when I rewatched it, my thought process was kind of still the same. Like, yo, this is really fire. Like these young, these young boys really put on. Like even the next day, I watched it. I watched it all the way through. I've seen it like two, three times already. I watched Math vs. Head Ice again. I mean, Av versus Head Ice again. Uh, Ice's round, his first round was like 7, 8 minutes, 15, 25, 48 minutes long. But I still feel the same way. I feel like he got the first. I feel like he got the third. I just felt like, because when I, like, and I will say this, you know, Av gave Ice way, way, way too much space. Like, he was battling him from down the street. You can't give somebody a football field worth of space when their presence is like Ice. Like, you got to crowd, you got to... You got to really talk to him, like 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 how Chess was on Kid Chaos, like he was like the chrome rise, the stick up for Kid, like pick on somebody your own size, like he's like really that that changes the 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 energy that that shows presence, that shows dominance. Like I'm not asking you to be in somebody's face the whole damn battle like this, but you can't be so far away that when you rap in your material, it's like you you just it was just too far. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like, and that I don't take away points because I ain't no judge and never want to be one. Don't call me asking me no judge. I've been called more than once. I've said no every single time because what I'm saying is. Uh, the material, like in Av's third round, 
And even in Ice's third round. Lemon squeeze under the fresh tea, who on a half and half? That shit was crazy, bro. Like, that shit was crazy. I'm sure he'll bounce back and have some crazier battles, but to me, his second round was fire. If he'd had all three rounds like the second round, he probably would have 30 them. But I just want y'all to let me know, in my bugging, when I feel like Chess's performance versus Kid Chaos saved this event. Like, it really, it really, really did. And what the problem is, another problem is, y'all expected, did y'all niggas expect Gnome out of a super fight? Like, when when did we expect have that high of expectations? I know there were some names on super fight, but y'all niggas have really, really, really high expectations for a fight that's a super fight that's normally in between shit. Like, they'll have, like, Gnome coming or Summer Madness coming and niggas will just throw out a super fight real quick. Then the expectation changes because y'all niggas seen Nitty and Hollow on the car, so y'all expectation automatically changed and y'all envisioned Summer Madness, but it wasn't. Like, Arts vs. Real Sick was 2 minutes and 30 second rounds. 2.30s. Like, Sick is rapping and he's saying, I'm at 1 minute left. Okay, I'm done with the tech. I'm dumping the rep. This is coming in for third. Okay, I got 30 seconds left. Another clip in the middle. He's rapping while he's saying how long he has left. I don't... I was cool with what I saw. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. But my expectation was not set so high that if the shit didn't meet it, I'm saying it was automatically a failure. I'm not saying that. I'm saying Kid Chaos and Chess Performance alone saved the event. That should have been the $5,000 battle. Um, I did see again, a lot of people talking about the Cortez and Ace I mean, You know, Cortez won. Congratulations to him. Salute. He got that bag. Uh, it was just my personal opinion about who I felt like won. I'm a nobody. I'm just a nigga with a camera. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really have any say per se, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I would like to see Chess continue to build off his last couple performances. He's got like a chip on his shoulder. Like he's like, you know, I'm trying to prove y'all niggas, y'all niggas forgot. Yeah, we forgot. If that's what you if that's the performances that you're gonna give when you feel like niggas forgot how you gave it up, nigga, I forgot. We forgot. We all forgot. And I want you to come back around because you called out easy to block captain and easy to block captain salute to him who wasn't on the event. Said that his phone is on for ice, goods, and chess. Uh I don't think goods is gonna battle. Easy to block. I know he's not. I mean, I don't. I haven't spoke to him personally about it, but I know he's not because the way he moves, he doesn't move like that. Like the way he's gonna do is he's gonna wait until Easy to Block Captain either loses a battle or starts to look human again, and then battle him. You know, like Floyd Mayweather used to do. He used to wait till the nigga lose or till the nigga looks human and then battle him. He's not gonna battle Easy to Block Captain when he's at his hottest point. That's just not. I do not envision or see that happening on any level. I don't see him battling him right now. Not at all. Like, he will not say, yo, you know what? Set it up. I'm outside. Let's do it. September, summer. Man. He's not going to do that. I can I can tell y'all right now. It's not that he's scared. He just moves in a way. He just moves how he moves. And he marches to the beat of his own drum. Easy the Black Captain is ready to rap now. And Easy the Black Captain needs to be out there right now. He needs to be out there. He needs to be on that summer man stage. He needs to be walking around whoever I say chess. Line him up versus chess. I want, though, Easy the Black Captain versus Chess is the one that y'all niggas, niggas should be screaming for next. It should be Easy the Black Captain versus Chess. Easy the Chess just battled Chaos. He battled Loso. He did good in both of them joints. He's just showing you that he's going to bring smoke to whoever. And Easy the Black Captain called out Chess. They did shots at each other like Chess said in the battle. Let's throw shots back in real life. That's what should be happening. Easy Black Captain versus Chess. Salute to Chess. I hope he continues to do what the fuck he's doing. Uh, that nigga went crazy. Kid Chaos did his motherfucking thing too. I had Chess 2 1, but it could be debatable. And if you're going with Easy, I mean, with Chess Chaos, I'm not mad at that either. Like, I'm not. Winning and losing don't matter in battle rap anymore. I'm literally about to just start being like, yo, I'm going to recap the battle. I don't give a fuck who wins. This is how I feel. It could be 2 1 either way. Because quite clearly, we just been seeing this weekend. That winning and losing does not matter. You could literally show up, you could choke, you could stumble through your rounds. If the fans like you, you're still gonna win. So it doesn't even matter no more. Why are we even recapping this shit? <laughs> Gag. Yeah. The streets
Bitch, I ain't safe, but they tell you be safe when you out in these streets. Rest in peace, King Nip, stay dangerous, cause motherfuckers play for keys. Keep you a toaster. Keep you a toaster. Better keep you a toaster. Keep you a toaster. With all that internet beefing, how you out here necking? You mean to tell me you just a loud mouth nigga that's reckless? Some of you niggas got death wishes, you do it for likes. Go viral to get killed later on that night. It's shit crazy to find out you wasn't on that hype. For them views, you really just paid with your life. All the real killers I know, they don't be online. And if they is, they just waiting for you to post your lie. I ride around me and Hamela and 